So while Andrew's out fishing, I thought I'd give you a quick tour of our van and um, how we've been living for the last, I don't know, week and a half now. And um, yeah, it's been a good van. It's been, it's very easy to drive. It's a V-Dub. Oh no, sorry, it's a Mercedes. And um, storage is a bit tight. We brought a lot of gear with us because we really weren't sure what kind of weather we're dealing with. At the moment, she's stunning. We're about five minutes out from Cradle Mountain Village, I guess you would call it. Um, this is a lovely little river called Iris River. And we stopped off here and Andrew's out there fly fishing. Um, so yeah, so let's have a little tour of this van. Um, so as you can see, you've got the front here. Um, they don't provide, well, there is a bit of a GPS system, but I, it's crap. It really is crap. So we just use our own phones and use, um, Sigic. The other thing that they don't provide with these vans is a reversing camera. So I bought, um, before we know in full knowledge that we weren't going to have a reversing camera, I bought a wireless reversing camera, which you can see there. There's a monitor set up there. Um, it's just plugged into the cigarette lighter. And then um, I'll take us out quickly. Gotta love the scenery, hey. Ugh. Come around here to the back. And I went to the reject shop not long after we stopped off. And as you can see there, we just got some duct tape. And that's a camera, and that's a little solar battery thing there. So it charges itself, so it's fully self-sufficient. And I tell you what, it's been an absolute godsend because this is a relatively long van. It's um 7.2 meters, um, and I just cannot believe that they don't actually provide reversing cameras in consideration that um, you know it's a long car. Anyway. Let's go back inside. So here is, this is actually set up to allow for three people. So if you're traveling with a child, this little settee here actually opens up to be a bed. Um, but at the moment, all we do is that you can actually uh, swivel the seats. Oh, I can't do it at the moment, sorry, because my seat's sitting too far forward. So I've got to put that back. But these two seats can actually swivel around to face me. And then behind this seat is a latch. This is hard to do when I'm not when I'm holding onto the camera. But there is a table with its post. And as you can see here, here's the bed. So you would actually drop this down and the bed would actually fold out this way. But yeah, we just set up the table there and swivel the two seats and we can eat breakfast. Now, the reason why we do that is that where you could actually sit and dine, we've actually set that up as our permanent bed. It's a bit messy there, sorry folks, um, and because Andrew's got all his fishing gear out and whatnot. But anyway, that's our double bed and um, reasonable room. Your feet does touch the ends. I'm what, five foot six nine, just under five foot seven, and my feet touch the end if I was to go there so you sort of have to sleep on an angle with your toes at least hanging off the edge and not actually hitting the end um, if you're shorter then that's fine the bed itself is actually just the cushions I can't undo this at the moment and they're bloody hard so my suggestion is that if you're going to be touring in this van for a little while go to spotlight or one of those shops and well, we actually talked to somebody and they actually bought an air mattress and they put that underneath or otherwise find one of those, you know, those egg carton shaped um, underlay, you know, uh, mattress uh, underlays or something like that to give you that, that extra cushioning because it's absolutely killing us, that mattress. Up here is some overhead storage. It is really tight. Um, again, if you're traveling light, that's fine, but um, we've got so many clues. It's not funny, and they're absolutely chockers, and every time you open up one of these cabinets, it virtually rolls out on its own. Little TV there. Well, it's not actually a TV. You will not get any TV reception. It's not set up for that. It is a DVD, combined DVD player, um, and TV, and the videos come in on the end here. 
Um, this is a little storage cabinet and again really tight. When I went to the reject shop I bought this basket um, and um, yeah and just so I could store stuff from it stopping it from sliding around. We put our toiletry bags there and you got a toaster and a pot and other stuff there. Little control panel here so there's your voltage meter. This here is your um, telling you how much water you've got in and how much grey water you've got in um, and then a little cassette player and whatnot you've got a remote control for the air conditioner <laughs> not that we need it here in Tasmania and we needed a heater um, over here is the kitchen so you've got a lovely little three burner stove and under this lid is the sink again when I was at the reject shop I thought oh, I'll get myself enough uh, cool little cheese board and this is the only one I could find and ironically it actually fits perfectly in the sink area so that was a good score um, totally by accident but actually perfect so there's a the sink there and you've got that and you've got a cool little water pump my advice is that when you do go to leave your site just um, drain the water turn the water pump off up there and then um, just let this run, open the tap and let it run so it drains out. Only reason is that while you're traveling, um, or if you're stopped off somewhere, and if, if at any stage you accidentally hit this handle, all the water's gonna pour out and it's just gonna pour everywhere and you're gonna make a bit of a mess. So just make sure you drain the water line um, with the water pump off before you go traveling on the road. Um, what else? Uh, fridge fridge here it's actually quite good it's quite a reasonable size um, and then another storage cabinet there which we've got our alcohol and a microwave which obviously only works when you're um, at a powered site in here is the shower and toilet we have opted not to use it at all um, instead if you can see it's our junk room storage cabinet it's very handy we've got a whole heap of coats in that which are hanging up there we've got some toiletries and stuff sitting there all our folded up towels are sitting on top of the toilet and down there in the blue bag is our that's our laundry and then some extra shoes there i did go into spotlight in hobart i bought some extra mats um, which is nice and comfy especially in the cold um, weather so just find yourself some cheap sort of nice these are just bath mats and then this one here actually goes outside usually that's a little step in and step out mat um, the other thing I did was I bought at reject shop this basket for our everyday shoes just to throw them in and out um, which has come in handy except for the fact that it's actually too wide so then we tried to be a bit ingenious there and um, we got a couple of empty water bottles and I've sticky taped them just to keep it so it's balancing there because um, if it when it sits in a bit it's just sort of in the way there um so yeah so that's pretty much the layout of the van there's more storage up there Oops. Ugh. and of course there's more storage up there in the little range hood lighting is very good in here um good quality lighting so you can see very well at night time um yeah and there's quite a few powerpoints there's two powerpoints and also i think a couple of usb points down there as well if you can see um there's the other powerpoints the other powerpoints are around here double powerpoints there as well um what else so that's pretty much the brunt of the car and then a quick walk around on the front just so you can see the front Okay, nice little Mercedes it's a diesel and yeah and again it's been very easy to drive oh this is where the gas bottle is so you do have a water heater but they reckon it takes ages for it to heat up for your showers um, but in here is the gas um, we've obviously got to turn that off before we take off again um, oh and in here I'll open this up there's a little bit of storage in the back 
open this up. So with our hire, we got extra table. It's a little camp table with chairs. Here's our lead. There's our grey water and our fresh water intake hoses. They give you a couple of buckets. They even gave us some pegs. So I bought some extra pegs not realising. That's Andrew's fishing gear. Not a massive amount of storage, but again, something's better than nothing. And what's lovely is that when you do park up somewhere, you can actually open the double doors like that and um, you can lie in bed and take in the scenery if you want. Mind you, it's bloody cool here. So yeah, uh, what else? That's about it really folks. It's been a great little van again and um, other than the tight storage area, uh, which has been our biggest challenge, um, it's, it's perfectly fine for what we're wanting to achieve on this trip at least. And we've got about another, I don't know, 17, 17, 15 or 17 days to go. Catch you later.